And why dudes always like they want you to have their kids? Like, boy, you don't even know me for real. Relax. Actions is all you need. Like, nobody don't have to sit there and tell you that they don't want to talk to you. But y'all be wanting people to know y'all with a dude so bad. Now you mad that I want to talk to you for your money, but that's that's what you were showing me, so why you mad? what's up y'all i'm kayla welcome back to the channel if you new make sure you stop and hit that subscribe button today we about to be doing a get ready with me just because like why not and i kind of wanted to talk to y'all about a lot of stuff today so i am about to get ready to go on a movie date um i think we're doing something before that i don't know they told me to be ready early so you know i'm gonna just go ahead and do what i gotta do so i want to do like a little light beat look because i want to take some instagram pictures today too but let's just go ahead and get right into the makeup and right into the the combo girl so yesterday i was having a conversation with somebody and we were just talking about like dating and like who should pay for what so in my opinion girl where's the bro where's the brows stuff at hold up okay but in my opinion i think when you're dating like off the bat i truly feel like the guy should pay for everything but I mainly say that to say, like, the dude is usually the one asking you to go out. Like, they asking you, let, like, let's do this. Let me take you here. Let me take you here. And if you asking me, you're paying. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. You know, we done went out a couple of times. And, you know, at this point, I feel like, all right, I think I want to pay for something. I'm gonna pay for it. But what is not gonna happen is you're not gonna tell me what I'm gonna pay for. Or, like, you're not gonna feel like I gotta pay for it. Because at the end of the day you courting me you dating me like and i mean i'm dating you too but like i don't know like i just am real i have a real old school mindset so i feel like i want to be taken care of like i want that kind of like taking care of aspect like you 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 know you just gonna have to pay for it but let's say like right now i ain't where i want to be 100 percent in life so i know somebody that i'm probably talking to that's on my level is not all the way there but you know we, we doing something so i can't expect for them to pay for every single thing i just can't it could be a 60 40 you know what i'm saying like you pay majority but i'm gonna pay you know i'm gonna come in and pay i'm gonna pay for what i what i think i should pay for especially like i said if i'm planning it you know and i just think that like bro when you're talking to somebody it it make life a little bit more stressful because not only are you thinking about you, you just gotta, you always gotta be thinking about them. Like, okay, I ate today, but dang, did they eat today? Like, if I get some food, should I ask them have they ate? Because if I eat and I'll ask them if they ate, then then I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, it it, it just the lines just be getting intertwined and crossed and all of that. With that being said, though, like, what y'all think about friends splitting bills? Like, I always see this as, like, a controversial topic on all social medias. But in my true true opinion, I think everybody needs to split the bill. Like, you paying for what the hell you order. Because at the end of the day, I know me and my friends, we are, like, totally different stuff. Some people is off the rails and want to order everything on the menu. And some of us just be chilling. So, honestly, I'm not about to pay for your $40, $50 steak when i got some wings i'm just not doing it i'm sorry like i don't i really don't care now let's say we done went to maybe like uh what it is like ruth chris or something everybody's tab is at least a hundred dollars you know what i'm saying so in instances like that it's like we all order stuff that's literally in the same price range we sharing size it's like everybody might as well split the bill because it's literally like the same thing so that's the only time i'm gonna have to agree with like splitting a bill like that's the only time other than that baby you gotta pay for what you you gotta pay for what you <laughs> you know what i'm saying i'm I'm not doing it like people is not having it out girl this is too light like girl i don't went i didn't got dark i didn't got dark i don't know we're gonna, we're gonna bronze it up we're gonna try to make it work but yeah you got you i'm sorry you gotta pay for you gotta pay for what you bought what you got what you ordered i just can't do it like baby i ain't struggling but i ain't out here I'm not out here paying for you either, and that's why I'm I'm not struggling. Girl, what else I was um talking about? 
I had wrote it down just in case y'all was wondering why I'm looking over here because I had was like, oh, I should make a video because like, yeah, because I be having to keep my thoughts. <laughs> oh my goodness. The no face, no case situation. How do y'all like interpret that? Like, and I say, say it like that because it's like, to me, that looks stupid as hell. The both of y'all look stupid because at the end of the day, if you with that person every day and y'all really locked in and you feel the need to still cover their face up, like you're dumb. You're like you're like it like come on now like both of y'all know y'all got some stuff going on so why y'all even posting each other anyway you know what i'm saying and if you and if you don't want nobody coming to you as a woman then why are you even like you you shouldn't even be talking to him if you feel like that's gonna happen for real for real i ain't ever doing no no face no case like i'm just not gonna post you if i want nobody in my business i'm not gonna post it like that's simple as that but y'all be wanting people to know y'all with a dude so bad but don't want to show who it is but then it's like i really know who that is because you're really not doing a good job of hiding him for real i don't know and it's like are you being sneaky like is you being sneaky like you want people to know who it is or like you really think you 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 being sneaky but you're really not like which one is it? which one is it? i don't know girl i'm supposed to be doing a light beat y'all i'm over here doing a whole dramatic face because i didn't mess up with the damn highlighter <laughs> what the hell oh my goodness all right, we can still we still got time to make it work. I'ma just bronze the hell out of my face. That's that's the only thing I could do here. I look so white on camera, but I promise in person it don't look like this. It don't look like this. It don't look like this. How do y'all even feel about dating in general though? Like I feel like dating is so hard, especially like with social media. Like girl, it's so hard to really like find somebody you like for real. Everybody want to put on the show when it comes to social media so you don't really know who's who and what they have going on for real. Like you can only kind of guesstimate, especially with dudes. They always flexing their money and stuff, but really be broke for real in person. Especially the dudes who use their money to get you. It's like you was flexing all that money to get my attention. Now you're not spending it. Like that's clearly why I'm here. Now you mad that I want to talk to you for your money, but that's that's what you were showing me. So why you mad? And if all you flaunt is money and you be mad that females want to talk to you because of that, then like make it make sense like <laughs> i don't know what, what you want somebody else to like you for and then like when you do find people that you like it be weird because like it's like all right i like you like and uh, you know i'm i'm a i'm gonna talk to you let's see how it go and, and stuff completely go left and you'll be like what the hell just happened and you'll be like what the hell and i know that's me because like i have had my fair share of talking to people and I literally just ghost them out the blue like I would literally wake up one day and decide I don't even like you no more like for real for real like I don't I have a bad habit of doing that I would wake up and be like yep that's a wrap on that one <laughs> so wrap on that one and then they'd be like just be grown communicate just say it. I ain't gonna lie to y'all it's really I think for me, it's easier for me to ghost people than for me to say why I don't like them. Because nine times out of ten, the reason I don't like them can be really rude if I say it. Like, if I say it to you, it'll come off real rude. Like, I did for real stop talking to a boy before because, like, I didn't like his the way he chewed food and his lip used to be hanging. Like, I hated it. And, like, every time we would go out to eat, I would just look at him like, like, I hated it. So, like, sometimes, like, I feel like me ghosting is just what's best. Like, just let me, let me back up from the situation. Just let me go. Let me go. Like, dudes are so delusional and, like, in denial sometimes. Like, they really cannot get over the fact that you don't like them for real. They be like, y'all, I promise I don't look like this in person. <laughs> what the fuck? I can't wait. Maybe it's the lighting. Hold on. Let me turn the light down. Oh, but yeah, back to the dudes. Like, they literally cannot get over the fact that you don't like them for real. And they be like, I, I just don't like you. And like, you can ignore them all you want to and they gon' go. <laughs> you can ignore them all you want to and they gon' keep hitting you up. Like, keep hitting you up. And it's like, I didn't respond when you said this. I didn't respond when you said that. There's no way in hell you didn't think I didn't see it because you follow me on Instagram and I be posting every hour you like i'm i'm ignoring you i'm ignoring you like 
do I have to say it? Like, I don't get it sometimes. Like, sometimes, like, actions is all you need. Like, nobody don't have to sit there and tell you that they don't want to talk to you. They just don't. Wait, then you got the dudes who, like, used to girls, like, you know, being all over them. So, like, when they talk to somebody like me, I'm going to humble you real fast. Like, I'm going to humble you so quick. Like, you is not even finna get that kind of treatment messing with me because I ain't even with it. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a be on the same time you want. You want to text me back hours later, bitch? I'm gonna text you back two days later. Let's see, let's see who really want to play. And I honestly have realized, like, when you really show a nigga, like, you're disposable. That's when they like you the most. Like when I'm, I ain't gonna lie. Like when I'm doing the dude wrong, that is when they just fall crazy over heels because they just cannot fathom. That you don't like them that much. What did I do to my face, y'all? Wait, you don't look that bad. In Wait, I need different lighting because I feel like I'm fucking myself up right about now. Hold on, let me just spread this around my whole face. That's what I need to do. Yeah. Dudes cannot stand when you be having that same energy toward them. They be like, damn, like, she really, she really don't care for real. That's me. And why dudes always like they want you to have their kids like boy you don't even know me for real relax they don't even care they don't care they don't care how how soon it's been or any of that they talking about having a child off the jump like what are you talking about what what are you like you don't even know me for real you don't even know how i'm about to be as a as a person let alone a parent i feel like i didn't bronze the fuck out of my face too much I am a fucking golden doodle. Doodle bop. I don't know, like a part of me think it's kinda not that bad, so I'm just keep going. But child, me, I ain't gonna, I ain't, mm -mm. me and the, the baby mama era, no, nope. Not about to be nobody be him. I can't even, mm -mm. I need a ring on that finger, I need to walk down the aisle first before I even think about becoming a BM. But honestly, I, I don't, <sighs> I don't know. I, I'd be back and forth on that one. It's like, do you really got to be married to have a baby? Because honestly, I don't want to be married no time soon. But I could see myself having a child. I don't know. I don't know. It's a little backwards. I know it is. And I literally just said, I don't want to be a BM. But sometimes life just be life. And I don't know. I don't know. But I don't want no kids no time soon. I need, a, I need at least another three years. If I get another three years, I'd be like 28. You know, I'll be 28 and I think I'll be ready by then. But even then, that just sounds too young. That sounds young. You know, I don't even know if I'm if I'm, I'm going to swing that one. I just got so much stuff I want to do, bro. <sighs> bro, this thing talking about the camera overheating, bro. I swear. It ain't even been recorded for that long. It ain't even hot. I don't know. Let me show you my outfit real quick, though, in case this motherfucker try to go off. I'm going to put on some jeans with a little crop, my new purse. And probably like some platform sandals. That is what's on the agenda today. Um, let me try to see if I can like doctor my makeup real quick and I'm gonna come back. All right, y'all. So I did my lips and I let the camera cool down for a little bit. So for my hair, we about to put this thing up in a clock clip. I bought this clock clip yesterday. If y'all watch, if y'all haven't watched my last vlog, go ahead and watch it. Scroll. Period. <laughs> Girl, what was I talking about though? I didn't forgot at this point, child. Let me see what I what else I had in on here about what I wanted to talk about with y'all. Oh, it kind of go hand in hand with the last um topic I was talking about with these dudes be crazy constantly hitting you up. Um, have y'all ever had like any situations where like, oh, this is cute. Well, like somebody really likes you, but you don't like them, but you like they're cool. It's like we cool, like we could be friends, and it's like they know you don't friends on them, but they just gonna keep trying. Like you just gonna keep trying after like I've kind of already expressed like I'm not on that. Like, what is it with dudes and not being able to be in a friend zone? Like. I could completely like shut you all the way out and then you're gonna be mad but see i'm like we could be friends you know we could even have a little convo because like you're cool it's truly people that be cool for real and it'd be like 
shit. Like we could we could have a combo. Like I don't mind talking to you every now and then, but like they do not understand what that what that is or what that means or how that goes. And it's just like okay. So now I gotta ignore you all together because like you don't know how to stop crossing the line. You don't know how to stop trying to talk to me. Like you, it just, and it be so aggravating. Now, look at my light, y'all. I'm probably gonna leave the light um, down below. I got it from Amazon. All the girlies got it. Um, let me open up my blinds though, cause it's so dark in my room and I really hate that. Let me turn this light off. <sighs> okay, so now it's time to get dressed. Let me, yeah. Find some undies to put on. Hey, okay, these are the jeans I'm about to put on. These some Fashion Nova jeans, y'all. They're a little wrinkled, but who, who in this generation irons their clothes anymore? Cause not me. I don't have time for that. The only time I'm gonna iron is like if something is just just too wrinkled, like it is just no coming back. Ooh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I be saying this shit all the time, bro. TikTok be having me in a chokehold. The which one? The one I've been saying today, though. Can we get the bill? Can we get the bill? Okay. So these are the pants. Let me let me show y'all. These are the Fashion Nova girlies. Love me a good pair of Fashion Nova jeans. They ain't really been falling off though, cause. I ordered some jeans from them a couple a little while back. Oh, damn, my breath. Hold on. I ordered some jeans from them a while back, and girl, they was not it. Okay, so so next, um, I'm trying to figure out which top I should wear. Golly, I'm wearing this purse right here. So I'm trying to figure out if I should just do black because the shoes are black. Or if I should do the mustard because it's like it's still not cold outside and it's like girl if you got some color pop it out. <sighs> I'ma try not to play it safe. Let's try on a little mustard shirt and let's see how they look. And I feel like the light back here is conflicting too. But this is the top. I'm probably about to go get in a big mirror so y'all can see from there. Yeah, I'm about to do that real quick. Okay, what y'all think? I feel like this is cute, chill. You know, just going. Probably, I'm probably going to eat first and then going to the movies. And I think I could take some Instagram pictures in this. The bag is super cute. I love this bag. Yeah, how y'all like the look? <sighs> Since the purse has gold accessories, but it's like that dark gold. All I have is like gold stuff, but I'm still just going to do gold accessories. So let's do that let's do that okay girl i was supposed to be talking about a whole bunch of stuff but as y'all can see these dudes <laughs> you can talk about that for uh, videos on videos on videos if y'all want me to talk about something specific let me know in the comments and you know we can have a whole we can have a whole sit down you know what i'm saying because I have so many story times, but I really be debating if I want to tell y'all stuff that be going on in my life because I've had a wild life. I ain't even gonna, I ain't gonna cap it down. I ain't, I have had some experiences and nine times out of 10, I probably was the bad guy. So I don't really like to talk about it. <laughs> mm -mm. These earrings made me look so young, but they're cute. I'm trying to get back into hoops because, like, as y'all can see, I just had studs in it. And I've been addicted to studs for years. I haven't really wore hoops for real since high school. And my job, I'm 25. So, y'all like this? Y'all like the look? Do you guys like the earrings? Oh, damn. I need a necklace. I really hate that my everyday necklace is silver. Because it's like, dang, I don't want to take it off because I love my everyday necklace. But, like, I'm wearing gold. So, girl, we got to... We gotta get with the vibes. All right, and we're back. I decided just to keep my everyday necklace on. It is what it is, I don't care. But I put on my Duke Cartier Brink and Bracelet. Now moving on to the 
fragrances these are the fragrances i'm gonna wear today y'all this is a bomb combo like this combo right here every time i wear this combo when i say everybody in a mama be like oh what that is what that is what you got what you got what you got what you got this is the one yep put a lot we drown in it we drowning in it over here period Now I just need to put the shoes on. I don't know if I want to wear these. These are giving like too cheap. And these are where I can stop looking. I wish y'all could see for real. I think I might wear these though. I don't feel like strapping up type situation. Yep. These are cute. I'm gonna go with these. Okay, so now I have to switch my purses over. Yeah, I've been wearing this purse since I bought it. This is my favorite purse. Like, I love it. It's so spacious and it's cute. You know, it's the trendy bag that all the girls be having. But now we're about to go a little bit smaller. So I have to transfer all my stuff out. Honestly, I don't need to bring a thing. Because I'm not paying for shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But, you know, we're going we're gonna to bring, bring, your, bring your own money. You know, always bring your own money. Now, because you just never know. You never know. You never know. Cause trust me, child. I done been on a date before. Dude was talking about his card messed up, but uh, he'll sell me the money if I pay for it. I made him sell me first, then I paid because no, no sir, no sir. Y'all can't be y'all can't be seeing my card if I'm not stop stop trying to scam me. Okay. Oh, this is a small purse. So y'all, that's going to be the end of the video today. I am probably about to go outside and take some pictures because I got ready early. Somebody called me and was like, oh my bad, you really need to be ready until this time. So that gave me time to actually go shoot some content. So I'm about to go outside, take me some pictures, probably in the same place I took them last time. If you are new to my channel, y'all, make sure y'all go back, watch my vlogs, watch everything. Watch it all. Watch. But if y'all new to my channel, make sure y'all go back, watch all my previous videos. Subscribe to my channel. Everybody, make sure you like this video. Like, 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 like the video. I don't know if y'all know, but that helped me a lot if y'all like the video. Um, also, leave comments down below because, of course, like, what y'all think about what I was talking about? Like, do y'all be going through this stuff? Do y'all be thinking about this stuff? Let me know in the comments and give me more topics that I could talk about. Um, yeah, other than that, check out my Instagram. If my pictures ended up coming, look. If my pictures ended up coming out cute, they're going to be on the gram. So, see y'all later.